I'll be taking you through the next 40 minutes, giving you a whistle-stop tour of the tactical skills that you can take away from this conference and use next week. Please don't use them on the exhibitors or on each other. Um, but uh, this, uh, when you go away from this conference, you will see and hear things that previously you may not have noticed. Now, I'm amongst professionals and some very good experts, and some of you have seen some of this material in Southeast Asia and in Brussels, where we featured some of the activity. I'm going to take this a step further and uh, lead you into the key scientific pieces that can help you get to the truth. So some people call me a professional lie detector. I prefer to use the phrase um, uh, truth detector. Because when people tell lies, they leak the truth. I want to give you an insight to see that leakage so that you can better understand individuals in high-stake fraud investigations and wherever your work takes you. When we tell lies, we leak the truth. So that's important. People think uh, that individuals leak lies. No, no. The lies usually come in the form of words. It can be symbols, can be emblems, but most of the time it's in the form of words. And they're often believed because our teachers and parents tell us, listen to the words I'm saying. And often the leakage comes from the other channels, which I'm going to share with you. And the reason that does that is because the autonomic nervous system reacts within about 400 milliseconds to display the emotions you're really feeling, whether you want to show those or not. So not like a reflex where you strike the knee and the, uh, that's just a short signal to the spinal cord and back out. Uh, that's not an emotion. But when uh, we're triggered into an emotion, someone angers us within four or 500 milliseconds, we get a reaction from the body. It's orchestrated. Our blood flow, our breathing patterns, our perspiration, and everything which supports the action you need when you're threatened is supported by the body without thinking. And those signals are valuable to the behavioral analyst. So you might strike someone within three quarters of a second of the stimulus, the confrontation, or insulting your partner, or trying to hurt your children. But if you can be aware of that happening and you can manage the emotion, you can respond rather than react. React is what chimpanzees do. We've been gifted with a prefrontal cortex, which can help us to just send it around the brain another time. Only one second, you don't need to count to 10. One second to think about, is what I'm going to do now appropriate? And that means you can respond. You may still choose to strike, but that's a choice rather than the chimpanzee working and overpowering you. When emotion, what you're feeling and what you're thinking, cognition, are at odds with each other because you're making up a lie, you're fabricating a story, you're covering the truth, then that leakage comes out from one of those six channels. And if that leakage is inconsistent with the account, baseline, and context, the story they're telling is the account. The baseline is the idiosyncratic behavior of that individual. We all have ticks and behaviors. We've not, we need to calibrate and check the baseline. If it changes and moves from that baseline, it's an indicator. And does it fit with the context? If you've been interrogated with a um, oppressive interview style, you're going to create leakage, but it's not because they're deceptive always. It's because they're reacting to the oppressive interview style. 